you guys. Um, just a quick end of the day, really tired, worn out um, video. So sorry if I look a bit rough. I've been on the go all day running errands and stuff. And this is a very kind of last minute unexpected video that I just wanted to make because I feel like a video would explain it better than me writing, which I did write on one of the videos, but um, it's at the bottom of a paragraph, so I don't know if it'll be seen properly. So I'm just going to say it quickly. Um, this is uh, not really an update on me and CJ, but kind of an update on me and CJ, I guess. Um, uh, as you guys know, he apologized to me. Um, when he apologized, I can't say that I 100% believed him because he was quite short with me. And it's not the first time that he's apologized. And when he's done it before, I didn't even think it was him because of the way that he was writing just really, I don't know, kind of formal and like he didn't know me and just like, I don't know, it was just really short. Well, you know, I like skinny little girls and you were kind of too fat for me and things like that. And he, he just was taking really low blows and I didn't, um, I didn't really feel like it was him I was talking to. And I really, really wanted to take that apology and just think, okay, I got an apology, but I, I couldn't do it. And then when he came to me a couple of years later and apologized, um, of course I'm going to be fearful of, well, if I give in too easy and I, I accept it, then I'm going to be the one that's playing the fool because he's going to be there laughing like, ha ha ha, as if I feel sorry for that bitch or if I feel sorry for anything I've done to her and you know, um, but I wanted it. And so I told myself, even if he doesn't mean it, the words were right. And so I'll take it. So I made my video and I explained that he apologized and I was crazy happy about it. Now, um, I get a lot of comments and a lot of messages on those videos about him. Um, I, at this point, honestly have got no problem with him at all. Um, I were I was allowing comments, but I wasn't responding to them. Like if somebody said something that was about me, like, oh, you were so strong, or I'm glad you got out of it, or blah, 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 I'd say thank you. Um, or I'd like the comment just to show I've read it. Um, I like all the comments to show that I've read them, even if I, I can't think of anything to say. But I wouldn't uh, go on and, and comment um, about him or say anything about him and um talk shit about him because i promised him that i wouldn't i wouldn't do that and so i've i've tried to be good and i've tried not to get involved and you know keep up this feud with him or whatnot and um there's been a couple of comments about him that uh have been a little over the top um one of them is the pedophile thing and um you know he's told me he he admits to what he's done he knows what he did wrong he's paid for it and not money wise, but in different ways, he's paid for it. And he, at this point feels really, really bad. And, and talking to him a little bit more, I do actually feel like he does feel bad. If, if he doesn't, then he's a pretty good actor. He's fooled me before with other things, but, um, I'm choosing to believe that he does feel bad for what he's done. And, um, irregardless of that, um, I think that the pedophile remark is a bit over the top. Um, and I, I've disabled comments on those two videos, but I would like to ask that you guys not do the pedophile thing because I get called pedophile a lot because Logan was 16, which is legal. Um, Emily was like 14, I believe. Um, but she obviously, she wanted to be with him too. He didn't like coerce her or trick her or anything. And, um, a pedophile is someone who is sexually interested in pre- pubescent children and so pedophile is the wrong word whether you think it's wrong for someone to be in a relationship with somebody younger than them or very 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 much younger than them uh pedophile is still not the right word it gets thrown around a little too much and um it's not something that I I approve of either and I did turn a blind eye to it just because I didn't want to get involved in the comments but now I've removed you know the ability to comment on those videos and I would like to respectfully ask that you guys stop with the pedophile thing. Um, as I've said, where it stands now, I've got absolutely no problem with him. We're not in each other's lives. It's not like we sit around talking or on each other's 
Facebooks or whatever. I don't even know what his Facebook is, nor have I looked for it. Um, he doesn't watch my videos. He just stumbled across, you know, that one because it's kind of hard to miss. And, um, yeah, but, you know, life goes on, things happen, and there comes a time when you've really got to let go of the hurt and you've got to let go of shit that's been done to you. I mean, it's been, uh, it's been about five years since he and I were together and all this shit happened. I mean, that's, it's not that long, but it's still long enough. Um, it's way too long to keep holding grudges. Life's way too short to just be hung up over something that didn't work out because in the end, it did work out for the best because if I had stayed with him, I would not have met Logan. Um, none of this life would have happened. And if, if indeed it had happened and he and I had, had stayed together and he had moved here with the price, the prices and the cost of living and him unable to work and us trying to fool the government and sneak him into the country or whatever might have happened. Not saying that was what was going to happen, but if, you know, I had tried to slip one in I would have gotten caught I would have gotten arrested he would have gotten deported we would have been homeless hungry I mean it wouldn't have been a good life and so really he saved us both from what could have been a horrible mistake it was just the way he went about it that I didn't like the the way that he allowed me to put so much time and money and effort into him when he obviously wasn't feeling it and I would rather he had just backed off or, to, or given it to me straight than to have betrayed me the way he did but again it's in the past and it did work out for the best and the only reason I've got the video still up because you might be asking yourself well if you've got no problem with him then why do you leave these videos up where you're saying all this stuff about him to be honest I don't remember what I said in the videos I know I explained exactly what happened and then in the other one I was showing the attacks that I've personally been receiving from people that I know know him whether they were sent by him or not, which he's told me he knows absolutely nothing about it. He doesn't know who they are or, you know, it, it's not sent by him, which is fine. So I've tried to absolve him of all, you know, accountability where that's concerned, but other people haven't been so forgiving on my behalf and they think that he is involved and he deserves to pay for the rest of his life. And I, I have to say, I don't agree, but again, the only reason that I have these videos up is because of the fact that I get almost daily people messaging me. They go to Facebook and they message me and they tell me that they're in relationships like that or they have been and they've thought that there was no hope. There was no life after the relationship. There would be no hope of forgiveness or of that person ever coming to them and apologizing for having done them wrong and, um, you know, various situations that something in this situation has resonated with them and just knowing that he and I were able to kind of move past it and get on with our lives and he has apologized and even for a time that Emily and I were on good terms even though we went through our own shit all that had given people hope and I really like being able to give people hope this is why I was kind of was and am kind of upset with Emily for giving up so easily because together, us three, or at least her and I together, um, we did give a lot of hope to a lot of people. And I got so many messages of people that that really kind of romanticized the, this friendship between us and they thought it was the coolest thing ever and they really wanted to see more develop. And they were like, it is so cool just to see two people who went through so much and who hated each other so much because a lot of people also who have followed me for a long time remember these massive, massive feuds. I mean, I almost got my channel shut down before because I was making such nasty videos about Emily and her mom and everything. And then they'd come to me and attack me. And it was such a back and forth drama, drama, drama. And to see it end and for us to be on good terms was like, so amazing to so many people out there and they obviously really really loved it because they came to me just like wow 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 and to have her care so little that she listened to other people that just wanted to see drama was 
kind of really a stab in the back and it just really sucked that it obviously didn't mean anything to her to fight for it or to even just think for herself instead she just listened to other people and it really sucked that people out there wanted drama so bad that they could just talk shit without giving a shit what they were destroying or what trouble they were causing I mean obviously they gave a shit but in the other way they wanted shit to happen and it happened and that really sucked because you have to be strong you have to think for yourself and you have to take a stand and be like I'm not going to listen to just bullshit rumors give the other person the benefit of the doubt you can't let other people do your thinking for you and um it kind of sucked that that part ended like that but at least we're not enemies you know she is not my enemy she is just living her own life and doing her own thing he is living his own life and doing his own thing but um the last thing i had on my channel about him was kind of negative people were feeding off of that negativity and coming back to me with it and so this video is just to kind of update and say that as far as i know he and i are on okay terms we're not friends but we're not enemies we're just two people living our lives and um I would take the videos down except for the fact that I know that they are really impacting quite a few people and so since I, I can't remove the videos um, I would rather just speak out this way and just let you guys know where he and I stand so maybe you you know if comments ever get enabled again or you got something to say personally to me or anywhere else maybe you can just kind of ease off of him a little bit and you can tell me all you want about your own situations or ask for help or or anything but um I would just like appreciate it if uh the um CJ bashing kind of came to an end now I think it's time and uh yeah that's all I've got to say um hope you guys are having a great day I had a pretty good day today I had some lady stop me in the store and um she was like excuse me and I was like, oh no, somebody's going to say something to me. And then she was like, oh, I just wanted to say that you look absolutely amazing. You look fantastic. I love your style. Your style is so great. And Doreen said that she heard her saying like, look at that woman's beautiful face or something. And I was just like, oh, that was such a nice thing. Because she was totally like into it. Like she was really hyper. I'm, I'm not being cruel. I'm not being... I'm not trying to be mean in any way. I just, I just love your look. You belong in London or something. You belong somewhere walking down the streets and of, I swear she said Edinburgh or something, but I, I think I was told that was in a different country. <laughs> I'm stupid when it comes to countries. Oh my God. I just probably totally made a fool out of myself, but, uh, she was very, very nice anyway. And it was just really nice getting a compliment like that because I've, I feel very self-conscious because ever since I cut my hair, I don't know if it's because my hair is short and like my tattoos are more, I don't know, visible or if it's because my hair is, you know, poof most of the time or it looks like it's more colored even though it's actually more black than it is blue but you see the blue more because it's just poof but um, I get people staring at me all the time now like I can see them out of the corners of my eye and they're just like, you know, like I, I want to start handing out tickets, you know, start charging. And, um, it's really funny when they think you can't see them. Like I walk by and then I quickly turn around and they're like, like, they got to act like they're looking at something else. And it's like, dude, I see you staring at me. I can, I can fucking see you. Or you walk by and like, I'm looking this way and I can see them. Like I have peripheral vision, you know, we can see you looking at us. Don't be so fucking rude about it. I, I'm just like everybody else, so I've got some tattoos. I don't even think I have that many compared to some people. And my hair is sticky uppy, that's about it. Which I'm definitely not the only one with poofy hair, and it's not even that high. It just, I don't know. So, um, I don't know what these people are thinking when they stare at me. Quiet trolls. But, um, <laughs> it's nice to hear somebody telling me that they look they think I look amazing. Um, it actually happened the other day too at the mall. It was so sweet. There was this old man with a shopping cart and he just stopped and he's like, oh, I love it. Oh my God. I love the way you, oh, you look fantastic. And he was just like trying to clap for me and congratulate me or something. And 
as he was like, oh, his shopping cart was like rolling away. And so he had to chase it down, which is pretty funny. And then um, when I went to go, I got some things for my birthday um, with a voucher that Logan's grandma's gave me. And I was walking by in the food court and this man was there with his wife or girlfriend or somebody. And he was looking at me and I was like, oh, no. But then he started smiling. He's like, oh, I love your shoes. Those shoes are awesome. Oh, awesome job. And like I get people stopping me quite often like. It's like they, they consider me more approachable now since I've cut my hair as well, which is really weird. It's really weird the the different reactions I've gotten now that I've chopped my hair off versus when it was long. And I've got a curl, a perfect curl, which is weird because my hair is bone straight. Do you see this curl? What the fuck is up with that? Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, you wouldn't think that hair length would have anything to do with how people treat you, but... I've had 10 times more people approach me since I've cut my hair off than when my hair was long, which is really weird. But um, I'm going to wrap this up now. This is already a lot longer than I wanted it to be. I hope I've made my point. I hope you guys can understand. And um, stuff and stuff. Not trying to cause any drama with anybody, with CJ or Emily. I just want us all to be able to live our lives, move on with our lives, and be happy. However that may be, whether it's talking with each other or not talking with each other whatever i just uh i just want us all to live in peace and to have the ability to live our own lives without other people getting involved and trying to cause drama so um whatever i have to say about anybody i say specifically and i name names so if i beat around the bush and say well i hate it when some people put really loud music in the background of their videos and you can't hear them talking something like that for instance which is true um I'm not pointing out any one person. It's quite a few people that I see and I'm not going to sit here and name every single one because there's no point. If I'm making a video or I've got a problem with one person like Emily, like CJ, like anybody, I will say their name. You guys should know this by now. If I do not name a name, it means I've got nobody particular in mind. And especially if I write on the bottom of the screen, this is not about anybody. It means it's not about anybody. And so if anybody goes to somebody else and tries to say, oh, she's talking about you, that's just them trying to shit stir. And you've really got to put your foot down and not let that get to you unless you are already looking for a reason to blame me, is my view on that. Um, and yes, that is kind of going out to Emily because, like I said, that upset me. I'm not going to lie. I don't hate her. I don't think she's a stupid bitch. Um, nothing like that. I just situation upsets me and there's nothing more to really say about it maybe i'm being a big baby maybe i'm beating a dead horse because i keep bringing it up but it just came as such a shock to me that um she would just listen to a couple of random people when i specified and when it was very very clear in that video i was not talking about her and like i said like you know i said mermaids or i didn't say mermaids i said unicorns people that like unicorns and ha 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 and I mean, I'm the one who likes unicorns. Talking about her, I would have said mermaids. And, um, yeah, she didn't even run through my mind when I said that because she's always been happy, so it's not like she's changed. Like I've said before, I'm not going to get into the video again. I'm just still fuming a bit, but not in a I'm going to cause trouble for her way. I just, I guess it's running through my head like like a bad breakup or something when you you feel like you've been wronged and you can't really get over it. That's kind of where I'm at. Like, I feel like I want to shake some sense into her. Like, why are you listening to these people? If you wanted to not talk to me, you should have just made up your mind on your own and not looked for an out, which is stupid people causing shit. Why do you let them? Why did you let them get to you? Why did you let them get inside your head and give them that power? Because now they know that they can just interfere in your life and my life. And for what? What outcome did they get? They upset me. Yeah, congratulations. You upset someone that you don't even know. I'm not crying over it. I'm just like angry. And um, I totally feel like I got the short end of the stick, which is bullshit because I didn't do anything wrong. It's like you try so hard to be a better person and to clean up your act and to be more positive and to not have enemies and to make peace with everybody. And you get some nosy bastards that just want to stir the pot. And so they lie and make up shit. And then to have them get their way after everything that you've done... 
it really sucks. And anybody with an ounce of humanity would feel the same way because I didn't come so far just to have some little brown nosing bitches ruin it for me for no reason at all except that they're bored or they want to get on her good side and I just can't believe that she actually let them that's just it wouldn't take much to be like look I don't want to hear it I don't believe you or let me check it for myself now nah, ask me first or something but she didn't she just took their side and it's like why would you even do that I won't bring it up after this I promise I promise promise I'm gonna move past it the only reason she's on my mind right now is because obviously the video is about CJ, CJ and Emily. They kind of go hand in hand. So oh, that's it. No more. No more. I'm over it. They're not going to get in my head anymore because then they would have won. So over it. Not enemies with anybody. Don't hate them. Uh, yeah. Done with it. <laughs> um, please subscribe for more videos. No, just kidding. I will see you guys soon with more videos. I'm going to upload this today, maybe today, um, because I really kind of wanted to get this video out. And I will see you guys next video. And take care. See you soon. Bye.